A gathering of the most eminent scientists of our time reveals something astonishing. The universe does not have a uniform age. Rather, time passes differently everywhere in the universe. The new images from the James Webb Space Telescope appear in a new light thanks to this new insight. And we have to ask ourselves, what do we really know about the universe? The discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope and the ongoing cosmological crisis have once again confronted our science with fundamental questions about the universe. For almost 100 years, scientists thought they knew that our universe originated from a single point and has been expanding ever since. This event is thought to have occurred 13.8 billion years ago. But the impressive images and data from the new telescope have shown that there are galaxies that are older than the Big Bang. The Webb mission has not only cast doubt on existing models of the formation and evolution of galaxies. These images of very old galaxies call into question the entire idea of the Big Bang and expansion. The crazy thing is that for many years there have been indications that the old cosmology is not true but researchers didn't want to see it. Now, they have the evidence. The disturbing results have led to a meeting of leading cosmologists. High-ranking Nobel Prize winners and the best researchers in our world have asked themselves fundamental questions about the universe. Among other things, the role of dark energy and the unified expansion of the cosmos were discussed. Particularly exciting in this context is timescape cosmology which provides us with a completely new and rather unexpected model of the universe. What is so exciting about this theory is the fact that the nature of time is completely restructured within the model. In matter-rich regions of the universe, time could pass more slowly than in almost empty areas. This could mean that the age of the universe as we perceive it varies in different areas of the cosmos. Timescape Cosmology how wrong we could be. In the light of new discoveries, the idea of a Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago seems almost laughable. Timescape cosmology is now completely redefining our understanding of time and space. True, the central idea that time passes at different rates in different regions of the universe means that the universe cannot have an age in the conventional sense and it raises the question of whether it really had a single beginning. Time could pass differently everywhere in the universe, depending on the local density of matter. In regions rich in matter, such as galaxies or galaxy clusters, time flows more slowly than in almost empty cosmic voids. Billions of additional years could have passed in the voids compared to the regions with high matter densities. This means that the universe is old differently depending on the region, we may even be making a fundamental scientific mistake when we try to define the universe in terms of quantities such as time, space, and matter. We could be on the verge of a quantum leap that not only revolutionizes our understanding of the universe, but also fundamentally renews our human existence. If scientists now discover that time is not linear and that our world consists rather of spatially limited fluctuations, it would not only revolutionize our cosmology, we humans would have to face a completely new and changeable worldview. What if we find out that such time holes also exist on our planet? Such assumptions could explain previously inexplicable phenomena, such as how peoples like the Egyptians had the technology to build the pyramids. The Egyptians could have existed in a different time space than we do today. But back to the universe, the new model of timescape cosmology is not some kind of joke by a few crazy researchers. The brand new theory is a scientifically sound development of Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. The scientific genius of the 20th century proved that gravitation, as well as the location and movement of the observer, influence time. This already made it clear that time is not absolute. Einstein even doubted that time is a real physical quantity he saw it more as an individual perception. Timescape cosmology goes even further. It speculates that the large-scale structures of the universe have an influence on what we call time. In addition to explaining the impossibly old galaxies discovered by the JWST, 
the model offers a coherent explanation for the discrepancies in the measurement of the Hubble constant. This value describes the expansion rate of the universe, which should actually be the same everywhere. However, the results of various measurement techniques showed such differences that the discrepancy known as the Hubble tension already pointed to a massive error in cosmology. Traditional models of the Big Bang and expansion make it imperative that the universe be homogeneous and isotropic in its large structures, but it is not. Hubble and now Webb show us a great many structures that are too large, too impossible, and too inhomogeneous. Here, Scientists saw further evidence that the old cosmology cannot be consistent. But it was only the fantastic images from the JWST that provided the final proof that the universe cannot be 13.8 billion years old. Dark energy, a fatal error of science? Does it exist or not? It could never be clarified whether dark energy is a reality or a fiction of science. One of the most fascinating aspects of the new timescape theory is that it also completely reinterprets the role of dark energy in the universe. Instead of a mysterious, invisible energy driving the expansion of the universe, the observed acceleration of expansion could be the result of the already imagined temporal distortions. The universe would therefore not be influenced by a uniform force, but by the complex interactions between space-time and matter density. Timescape cosmology could thus challenge all old ideas about the universe, and it doesn't even stop at gravity. If we have also been mistaken about the attractive force of matter, we are facing a complete scientific reset. Such revolutions are not new. Imagine how differently people suddenly had to think when it became clear that the Earth is a sphere and not a disk. Such new insights also influence our everyday understanding in a fascinating way. Imagine how people suddenly thought when they understood that ships could travel around the world and not fall over an edge and be lost. Think about that for a moment in terms of time and your understanding of the world. What if time is not a real measure and we find out that our universe and our Earth have different time dimensions? Just becoming aware of this fact could turn our perception upside down. We might suddenly perceive phenomena that were previously hidden from us and connections in the universe would become clear that have long remained hidden due to our false worldview. Imagine a universe with different, dynamic, and location-dependent time spheres in addition to a universal, synchronized age of the universe. With these new ideas, timescape cosmology builds a bridge to other ideas, such as the crack the void theory, which sees essential building blocks for the dynamics of the universe in the mysterious cosmic voids. Within the known universe, voids are among the structures that prove that our cosmos is not homogeneous and isotropic. For this reason alone, it can be assumed that they play a key role in the definition of a new worldview. The new theory is not only scientifically brilliant, it is also surprising and extends far into philosophical or mysterious realms. Through the discoveries of the JWST, we may experience that time is truly an illusion. If time does not exist, how old are we then? The nature of time is one of the deepest mysteries of humanity and science. Time has long seemed ubiquitous, irreversible, and immutable. But what if our basic perception of time is just a product of our position in the universe? This question is not only raised by timescape cosmology. That time is dependent on the location and movement of the experiencer is known to science. Now, we may have to expand this idea to include the notion that time is relative to the structure of matter and the cosmos. One of the central challenges in understanding time has always been its ambiguity. Time can be a physical quantity measured in seconds, minutes, and hours, but it can also be a subjective experience that unfolds only in human consciousness. In physics, time is often described as the fourth dimension, it describes the sequence of events in three-dimensional space. However, this linear view of time is now being questioned. The theory of relativity already showed that time is influenced by gravity. The stronger the gravitational field, the slower time passes. This result has been confirmed by experiments, such as the measurement of atomic clocks at different altitudes on Earth. 
The idea that time is influenced by local cosmic conditions, such as the density of matter, is now an even more radical extension. If time depends on the structure of the universe, it could mean that the universe exists in a constant state of multidimensional time flows that vary from region to region. The implications of this idea would be profound. If time is not uniform, it becomes impossible to define a global age of the universe. This would have far-reaching consequences for our understanding of cosmic evolution, the formation of galaxies, and even the search for extraterrestrial life. Life forms in other regions of the universe could exist at a completely different rate of time, making communication and interaction massively more difficult. However, if we could bring ourselves into the same time sphere as these beings, worlds that were previously invisible could suddenly appear before our eyes and we could have contact with other life forms. Philosophically, the question arises, if time is not real and is only a concept that we use, should we continue to measure and use it? And if we do without time, how do we organize our daily lives in the future? Theoretically, we would develop time-independent senses that automatically lead us to where it makes sense for the overall context of our lives. In practical terms, this means that you show up at work when it's right and appropriate for the universe. Our perceptions could open to this other form of organization, and possibly we would make a quantum leap as a species. From a biological point of view, we would then also have to question the aging of our bodies. Supposedly, aging is influenced by genetics, cell division, and the shortening of our telomeres. But what if it is only the concept of time that defines our age? What would happen to our bodies if we internally abandoned the concept of time? We would possibly live forever. Subscribe now, the best videos are yet to come.